Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. This is our Isaac run. I'm excited because the last run, you know, I mentioned at the start of the last run, so this makes me seem like a hypocrite. Ooh, this is a tough choice right off the bat. I'm gonna re-roll it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth on this one. I'm gonna be okay with getting free secret room access. Well, not free, but for the price of a bomb. Um, anyway, on the last run, I was like, Man, it's nice to not have to... Ooh, okay, I, I realize I'm being too, super scatterbrained right at the start here, but I have to fight Pride first because we have a D6 available, so if I, he ends up giving me Anarchist Cookbook, at least I have some recourse to reroll that. Anyway, on the last run, I was like, it's nice to not play as Isaac because that takes away some of the pressure of, uh, you know, having to constantly maximize your rerolls. And then promptly on that run, we'll definitely take six bombs right away because I'm about to use one here. Uh, promptly on that run, proceeded to get some of the worst item rooms I could possibly imagine. Holy Water... Um, the rosary, just just items that are not particularly uh, useful for me at all, and I ended up contributing to a run that, well, oh, seriously, slot machine, that well, a lot of fun uh, was not very successful in the whole scheme of things. We did, we, we died nine times against Isaac. It was uh, it was like listening to a Love Is All album or something like that. In any case, uh, hopefully, we'll have an opportunity to use our D6 to avoid that same fate here. And immediately, I'm already thankful that we have taken uh, this Spelunker's hat because because we have so many bombs. Apologies for so many becauses there, but I said that because we had so many reasons to attribute causes to things. Uh, we'll be able to find our second secret room, which contains the Polaroid, which is completely useful, useless for us right now. But maybe in some point uh, in the near future, will become useful. In any case, weird kind of start here. We've gotten the Spelunker's hat and nothing else of value. We are going to get a cube of meat. Our rewards are pretty much set for this floor. And with any luck, it would also be very, very nice for me to be able to get the small rock from the Sinted Rock. It wouldn't, you know, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say there's a 69% chance of me getting the small rock here. So 69 is basically 100% in my mind. So it's basically already sorted. I, I kind of feel like I don't even need to open it up and possibly ruin my own dreams here. Mostly because I'm scared of being faced with the realistic probabilities of math, which, you know, it's just life in general, isn't it? Taxes, you know, actuarial studies. Ages. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't even know what I'm talking about for the most part, but that's not necessarily abnormal for me. Uh, we get a key and a spirit heart, and you know what? Even better than the small rock. At least that's what I'm going to say. Also, my favorite U2 song. Give me a moment here. All right. Second floor. Let's regroup and hopefully do a little bit better this time. Immediately, we, we found the second secret room and the first secret room. Luckily, uh, despite the fact that I can't see what's going on, we didn't even have to use our map. Or sorry, we didn't even have to uh, waste a bomb that time because we just found it right away. Better to have the Polaroid or uh, Spectral Tears chance, which comes from the Thumbtack, or Pushpin, sorry, I don't want to use the non-canonical name. I think it is better to go with the Polaroid just in case we end up being able to use this. We're going to waste at least one bomb here, or I guess at worst one bomb. Yeah, okay. Um, to hopefully find what I'm guessing is an eternal heart if there's a benevolent lord in the universe. There's not. Um, but the reason that I would take the Polaroid instead of the Thumbtack right now is Spectral Tears pretty unlikely to be that useful when they're not reliable because I can't just hide behind a rock and be like, oh goody, you know, one in ten shots is going to be a Spectral Tear. That'll make it really easy to take this guy out. Uh, the Polaroid, on the other hand, could be useful if I end up uh, playing a Blood Bank or something like that. I can get a brief period of Polaroid Invincibility, gain some extra money or extra chances of getting a Blood Bag as a result. That's my reasoning behind it as well. And immediately we have a perfect opportunity to use uh, the D6 because fuck the Rosary. Uh, we'll pick up the Virus. Does the, ri does the Virus give us a substantially better chance of success? No, but combined with the Polaroid, which we would have gotten anyway, to be fair here, um, it does give us a pretty good opportunity to do a decent amount of damage to enemies, not only when we hit them, but also especially when we end up getting permanent Polaroid invincibility. Okay, as of right now, I will give up uh, the early Polaroid for Judas Tongue, which I think is a much better pickup and could possibly save me, you know, half of my uh, deals with the Devil. Or, sorry, half of my HP upgrades when it comes to getting deals with the devil. So, uh, I do... I will definitely go to this curse room. I do have the opportunity to go to the shop. I have one key. I have seven cents. And we're not going to get any more money because I already checked out that uh, the secret room. It had six cents in it, but I've already picked it up. It's not like we can, you know, double down on it. Another key maybe makes my choice a little easier. Guppy's Tail, really good pickup. It does make us a little closer to becoming Guppy. We're not necessarily in a very rich situation from a key standpoint right now, but... Uh, you know, if that changes, then we'll be able to pop these open with Guppy's tail and maybe make some very good stuff happen. But for now, it's mostly just, hey, one third of the way towards becoming Guppy. That's good news. And we'll see how our money situation goes here because uh, it would be nice to go to the shop 
It's just not necessarily 100% practical yet, and this floor is going to be over pretty soon, so if, if we're going to get a, a serious bounty of, uh, you know, unexpected cash, then hopefully it happens sooner rather than later. Either way, I've resigned myself to the fact that we're not going to be able to use a reroll on that uh, shop, so we'll just take it at face value because our boss room is right here, and I'd rather reroll the deal with the devil if we get one, which is probably unlikely because I've taken a decent amount of damage on this floor so far, but could happen. Also, reroll for the boss room, pretty valuable as well. Otherwise, we'll end up saving our one of our keys, and the other one ended up giving us this HP upgrade here, which is an absolutely adequate turnout, I would say. So we're fighting the Widow. No big deal. Almost took damage right off the bat. That's just the norm for me, though, for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, pretty consistently end up taking damage against the Widow. Probably lowered my deal with the Devil Chance, but that's okay. For now, uh, I'm, I'm psyched that we got that HP upgrade earlier. We also did a ton of damage to the Widow uh, by virtue of the, the Poison Touch ability there, so that's good. The Spirit Heart, you know, valuable-ish. No deal with the Devil, but we got another HP upgrade. We're up to five of those, and combined with Judas Tongue, that's going to be very nice for us. And we still have one key to use on the next floor. Curse of Darkness is so frustrating. You know, I realize that there are worse curses, probably, at least on paper. Oh, that's a bad spirit I have to lose, but it's not like it's super valuable for me right now. Okay, just hold up a second. Here we go. Um, on, on paper, I guess there's other curses that are worse, but this is like the most frustrating just because it, it really frustrates you when you're trying to figure out where the hell to go, especially when you have the D6 and you're like trying to plan your attack accordingly. Oh, no, the cat is moving on the screen. I can't see. Can you please... I'm sorry, would it be too much to ask you to move away? Thank you. So this is the second secret room. It's not in the location I thought it was, but that's fine. We got a heart and a pill. The pill ended up being balls of steel, so we'll use our other bomb here. And if it's an eternal heart, well, you know what? We can probably protect it. It is an eternal heart. We have two and a half spirit hearts to go with it. Kind of shitty because now we can't play a blood bank. I'll lose the eternal heart, but, you know, why would we play a blood bank? To get money and an HP upgrade. This gives us an HP upgrade as is. And there's our secret room. Am I content to lose a spirit heart going into this curse room? Absolutely, because our, our odds of becoming Guppy are fairly high, considering how early we got Guppy's paw. Sorry, Guppy's tail. Guppy's paw would be very useful right now, though, in our secret room. We're kind of coming close to running out of bombs here. I'll take the one up. Yeah, I will. The reroll could be super valuable, though. Let's reroll it. We're unlikely to die. It could be fun. I rerolled and got the shovel, so I'm basically a big piece of shit. Um, we can go back and reroll that secret room. Or sorry, yeah, it is a secret room. We can go back and reroll that though. In here, we got two spirit hearts, which is going to compensate us, uh, and then some for the amount of health that we spent to go in there. What I'm really hoping is that in that uh, in that secret room, you know, one up is probably one of the best items that we could get in there. But I'm hoping that maybe we pick up a raw liver or something like that, or a pyro, or I'm not sure if skeleton key can spawn in the secret room, but. Uh, you know, we do still have some more bombs that I can use to uh, bomb my way in there. So, why not make use of that for now? And this eternal... Oh, it's so shitty. The, the reason, like, in most circumstances, I probably would have just picked up the one up and been okay with it. But I'm like, we already have effectively, like, 5.69... Uh, HP upgrades, right? Because, like, this Eternal Heart is very likely to transition into a, a full heart for us because of the amount of Spirit Hearts I've got protecting it. So, I, I don't really... I don't consider it likely that I'm gonna die. And if I do die, I don't think the 1-Up is going to protect me that much. I mean, I don't... I don't. When I say I don't think it's likely that I'm gonna die, I don't mean, oh, we've won the game. I mean, it's, it's incredibly unlikely that the 1-Up will end up saving me in a meaningful way, if that makes any sense at all. I will open this. I regret that decision. Still though, is this where the secret room is? Please tell me I'm not an idiot here. Like my mental map should be okay. Okay, good. We'll reroll the shovel. It gave us raw liver. All right. So it turns out that in hindsight, I'm actually the smartest man in the world. Uh, we still we don't have enough keys to do what I want to do. I, I probably should not have taken a gamble on that uh, golden chest there. But getting raw liver is an exceptional coup for us. That is an awesome upgrade. I can't come to the boss room yet because I do not have a D6 available, and if we get a deal with the devil, I would hate to not have the chance to reroll it, especially given the, the value that we have in terms of the staggering amount of HP we have for the third floor, not to mention Judas Tongue makes everything cost half price. So uh, I should absolutely give that my all. Ob obviously, I also want another key so I can make use of the item room and the shop on this floor, but as for right now, I'd say this is going pretty well. Raw liver might be one of the rarest items in, in my playthroughs. But then again, it, it, you've got a weird bias for it, right? Because if an item's ex exceptionally rare, it's going to be difficult for me to recall it quickly. But raw liver's up there. 
I, I feel like piercing shots, like not mom's knife or brimstone or, or that or polyphemus, uh, but just like vanilla piercing shots is really rare. Triple shot seems really rare. Uh, I, I seem to get even the fetus items more than that. Ipecac, pretty rare, but it's been showing up with a little bit more regularity. So we have item room and shop right next to each other. I'm gonna go to the shop first and uh, yeah, we'll buy the nun's habit. That's that. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we'll be able to go to the... Uh, let me just make sure that I'm not missing like a key in here. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, it, it seems unlikely that we'll be able to go to the item room, but obviously the nun's habit is a substan substantially better choice. So we will be able to get a D6 available for our boss fight. I'm feeling really good about the way things are going, especially if I manage to get this uh, deal with the devil or even two deals with the devil. I could possibly become guppy. I could get mom's knife. There's a lot of, you know, very, very good things that could happen as a result of this. Uh, but I guess step one here is don't take damage on this boss fight if it's at all avoidable. Now, I want to see if this red man here has a key. It's a... More than a theoretical possibility. That was pretty shitty, but at least I poisoned Chad, so I'll do a little bit more damage to him. He actually just has a single penny, which is probably the worst payout that you can get from a champion, unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah, I took some more damage. So I, at this point, I actually have to be very careful because uh, I could seriously put myself at risk of losing this Eternal Heart, which would be the most disappointing because, I mean, it probably wouldn't make a huge difference in the way things are going, but it would be really silly for me to you know, have so much protection for this and still find it uh, just kind of fall by the wayside. I'm, they're boxing me in here! They're doing some- I don't want to kill the the laser flies because, yeah, they're gonna shoot the bullets that's gonna create the, a matrix that's difficult for me to get out of. Oh, that was kind of close. Just move around! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, turns out this uh, Chad fight is becoming more difficult than I would have originally thought. It's okay. No! Oh, I am an idiot! I was so close to being okay. If I'd just been a little bit more conscious over the course of this fight, I probably could have made something happen. You can't reroll little Chad. So it sucks that we lost the HP upgrade, but we got raw liver and compensation for it. But I'm, I'm very displeased with uh, the way that this went. But hey, on the positive side, no more Curse of Blindness, which was obviously incredibly annoying for us to deal with. Now! We don't have any spirit hearts, but what I do have, uh, well, is a golden chest, but I need more keys to begin with. What I do have is the opportunity to play this blood bank and get the blood bag, which worked out really well. I had no interest in re-rolling that. Uh, getting the speed upgrade is nice. Getting the HP upgrade also nice as well. Can't really tell which one's nicer at this point. So we unfortunately cannot, I don't want to open this room yet, and I don't have the bombs necessary to play Demon Judgment. I'd really like to do it in one fell swoop. Because I can open the secret room and make a bridge to Demon Judgment simultaneously, but I have no other way to get to Demon Judgment after that, which is a, a frustration for me right now. That a frustration that hopefully has a, a fairly realistic solution coming up, either in a ladder or the ability to fly, or in just a second bomb, which is also uh, a little brute forcey, a little bit coarse, but uh, adequate nonetheless. But for now, also brute forcey, but adequately, or, but adequate nonetheless, also describes how I solved every math problem that I had in high school. What is our tarot card? The tower. Theoretically, it could be useful, but uh, I, I really don't want to use it on that demon judgment room because uh, I could accidentally blow up demon judgment really easily. Which I believe does give me a higher chance of getting a deal with the devil, but it's fairly realistic for me to imagine getting a, a deal with the devil item for free from that demon judgment, so you might as well go for that instead. Uh, we really need a key. We, we really need a lot of keys, and, and the reason for this, I mean, it should be obvious, but if, if I manage to get... Um, I did not think that would hurt me, obviously. Uh, if I manage to get uh, a few keys, then I can start using this D6 effectively. As of right now, not really making good things happen. We've got kind of a weird run right now. We're not doing a lot of damage, but we're exceptionally survivable. I don't know. We'll see. It, it, the, this is the value proposition you often get in Isaac. We want to. We have a lot of survivability, and we want to trade that resource for the ability to do more damage. And then if we find a happy medium, uh, then we can win the game. Basically, that's that's how it goes. Um, not every Isaac runs goes like that, but uh, certainly a lot of them do. I'm taking way too much damage, but that's largely a product of me not doing enough damage to to get these rooms done quickly enough. And you know, this is kind of it's my least favorite run type for now. But certainly, I've had ones that are a lot worse than this, but a, a lot of health. Very very little damage is not where I want to be with my life, so hopefully we find a way to turn that around as soon as possible. Uh, Chestception leads us to two bombs, which does open up this Demon Judgment for us. I think I'm going to fight the boss before we get into this Demon Judgment situation. And the reason for that is, um, I, I basically I want to know what my health situation is going to be before we, we really commit to playing the shit out of Demon Judgment. This is a, an awful Gertie to fight. Uh, the good news is that it doesn't create... 
uh, any shots. Like, it doesn't shoot at us. The bad news is, it's exceptionally high HP, and uh, also it'll just consistently create enemies that we're going to have to deal with at the end of this fight, uh, whether we want to or not. So, you know, is this easier or more difficult than your traditional Gertie fight? It's probably a little bit easier, as you can see right now. I can largely just kind of fight a war of attrition here. I really don't want to use the tower card because I think I'm going to find it difficult to dodge uh, out of the way of the, the bombs because there's very few safe zones for me right now, but the ones that do exist are very safe. And right now I'm struggling just to keep the dialogue going for long enough for this fight to eventually end. Obviously, a deal with the devil is super important here. Another thing I have not mentioned about the Demon Judgment, which just crossed my mind, is that we're gonna... I guess it won't matter that much, but I guess if we were, if we get a key at some point, we can use that Demon Judgment as kind of a generator of rerolls, because every two times we play it, by way of the Nun's Head, we'll have another reroll. So if we do end up getting a key and managing to go to our item room, or our shop, uh, then I can generate a, a ton of fucking rerolls as a result of that. So there's uh, another four plays on the Demon Judgment there for me, by way of the two hearts that have dropped here. No reason not to pick them up straight away, I would say. Do we deserve a deal with the Devil? Um... Probably not, but I certainly would, would like to have one. It's something that you need to have, and if I leave the path, then I'll leave with half price. I don't know, that's a, kind of a stretch of a Kanye West reference, which means it'll probably make it onto his next album. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Uh, I prefer the rim shot, actually. Now, no deal with the devil. Squeezy. Squeezy deserves to be re-rolled into the crate, which is not great, and that was not just me trying to make, a, you know, any wordplay there. Let's we'll take this pill. Bad gas, okay. Better to know than to not know. Um, the reason I took the crate was kind of twofold. One, we'll get a key, that's good news. And the other one was uh, that we will, um, no, that was basically it, I guess. <laughs> More bombs, I guess, is nice too, but, uh, you know, the crate's a pretty not great item, but it does set us up in a situation where I can play this Demon d Judgment, which is fine. That did not locate the secret room, which kind of blows my mind, but okay. Uh, I can always use another bomb to make that happen, if necessary. Alright, Demon Judgment, now it's your time to shine. Now, here's the, the concern that I have. If I walk out of this room and walk back in, is the bridge still going to be there, or will I have to use another bomb? Oh, okay, so it'll just disappear. So what I will do then is come into this item room, and if it's bad, then I can re-roll, uh, you know, a number of times in the future. So it's not bad, but I'll re-roll it regardless, because I want to stick with the uh, the D6. Our pill, lock up. Okay, I don't know if that affects us positively or negatively, but it is what it is. And we get PhD, which, you know, they work really well together, actually. In fact, I may just pick up PhD. The full health is meaningless, but... Um, it's, it's better for me to, I guess, pick this up, and pills could eventually make all the difference in the future. Now, it's going to be difficult for me to take the right trinket out of here, but uh, so be it. It's just a, a, a small nuisance, I suppose, for the potential to get a great item like Brimstone here. And I know some people are going to be frustrated that I took Brimstone, but it, it is the obvious uh, choice to win the game here, to, to make winning the game more likely. And, it, you know, to a certain extent, when people complain about Brimstone at this point, it kind of falls on deaf ears. And I don't mean that to be like, oh, Northern Lion doesn't listen to the people who watch his videos. I don't mean it like that at all. I listened enough that I, I oftentimes, at least like half the time when I come across Brimstone, I don't pick it up just to keep the entertainment value up. Because I know that that proportion of people exists out there and I do respect their opinion. But now when people complain about it, I'm like, ah, well, okay. You know, you could just go watch something else. You know that a Brimstone run is going to exist. It's, it's part of the game. And it's not even, like, you can see it's not that exceptionally powerful. Especially when my base damage is not particularly strong, but... Uh, if you have a problem with it, I apologize, and I say this every time, but, you know, there's plenty of other content in the Isaac sphere for you to enjoy that uh, is not relevant to the Brimstone situation here. Probably a, a mistake on my part there to go to the second secret room, because I, I just realized if I had another bomb... Uh, this is a reroll for sure. Yeah, we'll take it, because we, we're leaving the floor. Uh, I just realized if I had another bomb, then I could have actually bombed my way into the shop, but we probably wouldn't have had enough money to make it work regardless. So we're leaving with no bombs and keys, that sucks, but we are also leaving with Brimstone, which is uh, kind of a, a major pickup for us. It increases our ability to kill, which increases our ability to not take damage, which increases our likelihood of getting a deal with the devil and actually picking up an item that will give us a substantial, uh, substantially increased chance of success. Still, we're going to have to fight tooth and nail for a little bit of this, but um, as of right now, I certainly feel a lot better about this now than I did... Uh, when we were on the, the the previous floor. So we found our second secret room. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do with that information as of right now. At least we don't have Curse of uh, Darkness again. And okay, we got one more uh, kind of Silkworm Bevy to deal with here. Silkworm Bevy also, they're, they're playing at the, uh, the Arkham Amphitheater this weekend. 
we have Gluttony. This is really good. Um, I, I doubt Gluttony will oftentimes pay out with an HP upgrade. Let's preface this, what I was about to say by saying that. You can also see my damage with Brimstone right now, which is not particularly strong. And as always, I will preface this by saying that uh, I, I do not use the Brim Stamp anymore because I can understand how that could be frustrating. I was hoping you'd pay out with the HP upgrade, and I was thinking, would I like to reroll the HP upgrade? And I think the answer to that question is probably no, uh, just because... You know, if we get a Guppy's Paw or something like that, which, would, again, would put us closer to being Guppy, which would be excellent, um, then it would be... The, the more HP we have, the better. I mean, that's just true always, basically, but uh, especially true when you also have Guppy's Paw and HP basically ends up being triply effective. So we really need some keys. That is uh, non-negotiable. Could we win the run with the items that we have right now? Yes, but it would be... Uh, It'd be a, a tough call. It'd be a stretch, that's for sure. One bomb allows us to go to the second secret room. Uh, but I'm going to save uh, the, the bomb for now, just in case I have the opportunity to go to, uh, like, to bomb my way into the item room in case I don't get any keys. I, th I think that's the right call. Okay, there's one key. I'm not going to use that to go to the shop right away. Instead, I'm going to look for the item room. Because, again, if we only get one key, then it's the right way to handle it, I think. Oop, just be a little careful here. There we go. That worked out really well. And we'll get a second chance here and blow them up at the same time. You know, dare I say, that room was handled really well. Now, left hand is kind of tempting to take because we could possibly get deal with the devil items from red chests, including other guppy items, but uh, I'm going to stick with left hand. I think it's more likely to be useful. Now, there's our secret room. Now we'll be able to start making some... Oh, no. Same room. Oh, slightly different result. <laughs> Uh, we'll be able to um, make our decisions. Oh, come on, Kiwi Meat. We'll be able to make our decisions about how to handle things now that we uh, we can see the secret room, and pretty soon we'll be able to see what it borders, which is also uh, another important part of the whole uh, scenario here. So, well, I guess we can just walk into the secret room for free, so I don't even have to use any bombs, and, and maybe that'll make my decision easier as well. Uh, we don't need that. In our secret room, we find Bob's Rotten Head, which... Immediately, I guess I'll just use to like bomb our way into this room and see if it's valuable. Then I'll reroll the shit out of it. And it's fetus in a jar. So at this point, it's like, do I, how angry do I want to make people? Let's walk in here first. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to take fetus. Oh my god. Ah, oh, oh, Jesus. I hate this room. I don't think I'm going to take fetus in a jar. You know, as, as much as... It, it's funny because I just like rail against people for arguing that Brimstone's an automatic win. Uh, but I'm just gonna be like, yeah, Fetus is an automatic win, that's why I don't take it. I don't think Brimstone is an automatic win. Like, this room, if we had, uh, Fetus in a Jar or Epic Fetus, again, I'm not ever 100% sure which one it is until I pick it up. Um, then it, it, it would just be over. Like, the, the rooms are too easy, I think. It, it makes it so the game is not necessarily fun anymore. B uh, Brimstone, I almost said, uh, Brim Snap, or, like, uh, Biz Zone, I guess, but, uh, anyway. Long story short, it, it, may, it takes a, a little bit of the uncertainty out of the run. I'm okay with taking those items occasionally, but I, I think I did do one fairly recently with them, so uh, it, it's nice to do, and it allows you to kind of mix things up a little bit and try for some, like, speed runs or something like that, but um, largely, I, I prefer to do things a little bit more traditionally just to keep a little bit of the, the intrigue there, a little bit of the drama, if you will. Like, it's like TNT. I like to think that I know drama. Also, uh, like TNT, I'm dynamite and I'll win the fight. I'm just going to take the HP upgrade. No deals with the devil is really frustrating, but at least we're getting enough HP to, like, tank the fuck out of it. Uh, it being the game, I guess, at this point. Please? Um, I, I think... Oh, maybe I won't. I was thinking that I would have to, like, walk down and, and shoot all these guys at once, but I'd rather not walk in front of those uh, spikes, if at all possible. Of course, it's not at all possible, as you just saw. I should go back into the secret room and, and reroll the fuck out of this item. Now... Uh, Judas Tongue still beats me. No, it doesn't. Maggie's Faith is better because we can't get another deal with the devil, at least in all likelihood. So, yeah, it, it's shitty damage to take, but that's fine. Um, so, I, I think that's the right decision. This has been a weirdly tricky and tactical run relative to the norm. Uh, we don't have full health. We will have full health in a second, and that'll open up. For now, I, like, I, I realize I haven't used my D6 at all on this floor except to reroll into... Uh, fetus in a jar, but uh, I haven't really had the opportunity. I've been mostly looking for the item room right off the bat, but it hasn't shown up, unfortunately. Could use a bomb and a key to open that golden chest. I think that would be a bad decision. Probably won't even go back there because the spikes are annoying as hell. There's our item room, and it contains Ouija board, which is a reroll. Now, it contains lifesteal, which is 
something I would like to reroll, but don't really have the opportunity to do so. So that'll do it, uh, and, and we'll make our way down to the next floor. Not a spectacular run, but one where we certainly have the chance for success. You gotta admit, that was a pretty nice dodge as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think our chances for success are still relatively high. It would be so nice to be able to get deals with the devil, but at this point, I just don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, you know, the, the run is just not uh, conducive to it, I guess. Which is fine, I mean, like, we can probably survive without it. We'll need some half-decent items to show up. We're gonna lose this Eternal Heart, almost certainly, by the way, but... Uh, I, I'm gonna do my damnedest not to, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Cancel Christmas, in my opinion, on this one. Uh, but this is also, it, it's, it's towing the line right now between the kind of run that is a win and the kind of run that is, uh, alright, I thought maybe the secret room would be there. Uh, the kind of run that's a win and the kind of run that is, like, uh, a, a slow death. Not a quick death, and those do happen. Oftentimes those are, like, when I've taken too many deals with the devil. This one is just too few damage upgrades right now. Uh, and as a result, I, I seem to find myself in a position where... Um, it seems seems kind of unlikely, and not kind of unlikely that we'll succeed, but it seems like it could... Ah, there goes the Eternal Heart. It had to happen. I was pretty confident. Um, it, it seems like it, it could fairly realistically happen that this run ends up being a failure. Not a failure in an entertainment sense, hopefully, but a failure in, uh, you know, the, the beating Blue Baby sense. Beating Blue Baby also is what I uh, use as a euphemism for masturbation. You're welcome to use that. Money equals power. I, you know, this is, I'm lost in thought here. I only have 11 cents right now, but, uh, you know, this at least gives me an incentive to actually pick up the money that we come across. It can be a pretty useful damage upgrade if you end up getting a lot of money, and there are some certain item, item combinations that will allow us to get a lot of money, or room configurations that allow us to get a lot of money. For example, uh, an arcade? Obviously. Oh, no! Okay, we're fine. Uh, Dad's Key is the easiest reroll of all time. Into... Spider Bite. So between Raw Liver and Spider Bite, these are two of the best secret room items. I don't know if Spider Bite actually works with Brimstone. We'll see. Uh, yes, it does. Okay, that's absolutely beautiful. So this will give us a chance to slow our enemies, which is awesome. And uh, I should probably work on getting some more keys, but I think I'm largely just going to uh, kind of hang out here and get as much money as possible to give myself as many damage upgrades as possible uh, and just hope for Red Hearts to show up in the future. Well, you know, this is actually okay. Because the IV bag allows you to play, with PhD by the way, this is how I get so much money, but um, with the IV bag, you can play twice as much and get twice as much payout, which is dope as heck. We'll go down to one heart here, okay. And then we'll see how much money we have and we'll probably go look for some red hearts because it's a little bit, you know, a little scary now. One enemy could kill us potentially. Uh, we're up to, <laughs> that was fast, so we picked up, uh, and now we can reroll the IV bag as well into the miter, which is fucking awesome. Anyway, long story short, we just picked up uh, the, oh, don't get hit by these things. We just picked up money equals power and then made ourselves extraordinarily powerful by picking up 83 cents, which gives us like plus three point something damage, if my uh, math is correct. I believe it's 0 .04 damage per penny times 83 is, you know, somewhere in that range. So that's pretty significant, actually. That extra half heart could end up making a pretty big difference. But mostly, uh, that IV bag showing up is extremely useful. And taking the PhD, again, probably did allow us to pop another 20 or 30 cents in out of that uh, blood bank, uh, blood IV bag, sorry, payout uh, that we got there. So I'm extremely pleased with that. And you know what? Absolutely, I, I think it's A-OK -okay to spend some of this money on Judgment to hopefully get something beneficial as well. Or get a reroll pedestal. You know, we're not going to sacrifice too much damage in order to make this happen, and we can probably get it back fairly easily anyway uh, over the course of the rest of the game. So I'm, I'm very wary about being here because we have these uh, these tarot cards are kind of blocking my path. So I think what I'm actually going to do, and this, this might seem real silly, but uh, I'm going to drop in like a tower card right here and then just walk away uh, so that I don't act If he drops a live bomb, this way I won't get hit by it. He didn't drop a live bomb. He dropped uh, Book of Revelations, which I'll pick up. And then put back down and, and get... Sorry, I should walk around the other way here, but... Um, Book of Revelations has the extraordinary potential to be very useful for us, no question about it, especially with Nun's Habit. Uh, but at the same time, I really like the Nun's Habit D6 combination that we've got going on here. And I don't think we're going to need Book of Revelations now that our uh, bad damage situation has kind of been sorted a little bit. I think we can... We'll do better to hold on to D6. Let's put it that way. 
But I may be wrong. I, I may be substantially wrong about that. But, you know, the other thing is we could also possibly get a great item out of the, the reroll pedestal here. Attack Fly is not that item, even though I like it a lot. We'll take it if we have to, but I'd rather uh, just reroll it if possible. So, we have a shop, which I cannot go to. And we have our Devil Room, which, or sorry, not Devil Room. Hopefully Devil Room, but uh, just our Boss Room. Which I do want to go to, but I don't want to go to yet. I want to explore the rest of the floor first and get as many rerolls as I can. You should be dead, yes. And another red heart. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. Just, <laughs> that sucked pretty hard, but we can reroll the Attack Fly at least. Into Book of Shadows. Which I can't do anything with. But if we find, like, a Temperance card, I can get crazy good value out of that. I forgot I can't fly. I just tried to fly over the top there. Um, okay, there's our second secret room. We're not going to be able to go to it for free, but we'll go to it anyway. Please be the room with a bunch of red hearts in it. It is the room with the Eternal Heart in it, which I'll take just because I don't have any more bombs. So I might as well at least give myself a chance at it. And we can't do anything there. I think we go fight our boss right now, even though it might seem a little silly. All right, well, we lived there, which is nice. Uh, it might seem a little silly. And I won't be able to... So, Attack Fly was actually the right option here. But I dropped, remember, that book of... Uh, or that Anarchist Cookbook or the Tower card. I dropped into that uh, room with the blue spikes. So, I'm very concerned about, like, walking back into that. Because there's not going to be very many opportunities for me to dodge. That was a really bad uh, brimstone shot there. Now, we do have a lifesteal, uh, so the fact that I'm low on health doesn't concern me too much. We're also going to be one-shotting most of these enemies. Uh, and, it, you know, having lifesteal is another reason that I thought it was A-OK -okay to get rid of that um, Book of Revelations. It, the Book of Revelations, let's put it this way, it is an obvious choice for survivability. And there's nothing wrong with it, with an obvious choice. It's obvious because it's, it's pretty OK. Uh, but at the same time, I think this is going to be, this is going to lead to a more interesting run. We also picked up stem cells, which is nice. The HP upgrade is fine. And uh, the Polaroid, of course. So Maggie's Faith may or may not have ever been useful for us. But sure, we're on the wound part one. I am happy with the way this run has gone so far. The money equals power coup that we did is really um, what's probably going to end up making the difference on this run, if I had to guess. And I really think we're in a very good position right now. We have 11 HP, and plus the, the two spirit hearts I think we have. Maybe, maybe less, maybe more. Uh, and we're getting a little bit more damage by way of money equals power here, which is fine. Uh, it, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot better. You know, there, there are obvious items and item combinations that would improve our survivability at this point. Uh, and improve our damage substantially, uh, primarily. But, uh, you know, it, it's hard for me to complain about the way things are going right now. Is it worth the two spirit hearts to check this out? Probably not, but, um, yeah, okay, well, definitely not. I'll spoil that for you, but, uh... You know, I thought that maybe there was a chance that we would get something amazing. Maybe a, another deal with the devil item for free or something. And to have this much... That was a total waste of a key, but accidental. Range up is not useful for us. Um, to have this much damage without going to a deal with the devil requires kind of a weird... Either incredible luck with getting items like, you know, small rock, Max's head, pentagram, etc, etc. Any combination thereof. Um, or it requires like a really weird circumstance like that crazy good IV bag plus money equals power, which is also extraordinarily uh, unlikely to show up. The other thing is uh, raw liver from the secret room, amazingly good, followed by a uh, spider bite from the secret room, amazingly good. Like seriously, amazingly great actually. Um, can I get two plays for the price of one? I don't think so. Uh, this is really risky what I'm doing here really risky. I'm only going to do it once more after this, and I should actually be able to get two plays. Obviously, we're up to 99 cents. I probably shouldn't even continue with this, but anyway. We'll see if we get some more red hearts. This should be easy. Doesn't get much easier than a, a Skolex fight on the wound par 1 when you have Brimstone with the high damage. Anyway, that was quick. We actually do have a deal with the devil now. No Judas Tongue, but that's okay. So we have Guppy's Head, which I'm going to pick up, and then I think we're going to reroll both of these, even though the Pact could be useful. I want to reroll them both for the potential of getting another Guppy item. Which we did, and is really scary, but now we are Guppy. And now it's time to live. <laughs> so I, I sacrificed an ungodly amount of health to make this happen, in the hopes that it will also be extremely entertaining. Uh, and also, hopefully our flies will do a ton of damage. Otherwise, I'm a, a total idiot. It may, this may be a terrible decision, but God forbid I, you know, miss the chance to at least be... Uh, we don't need this. I missed the chance to become Guppy. Uh, why don't we check out our second secret room? Because obviously uh, an HP upgrade would be an extraordinary benefit at this point. Ooh, it's a rusty key. That may have been a decision that will damn me. At the same time, 
I love that we're gonna be able to do so much damage now. Bad gas, probably useful, but HP upgrade? A coin person, we have PhD. So this is actually pretty useful. These flies, maybe not doing quite as much damage as I would have hoped for, but it is, you know, more or less passive damage, so it's kind of hard for me to complain about that. Uh, I gotta make some seriously long moves here to get Monstro 2 to get hit um, and not lose the aggro that he has on me. But luckily, I can slow him down pretty regularly. Uh, like, exactly as much speed as is necessary to make this happen. There we go. And we're done. Okay, so these, these pills are extremely useful. Speed upgrade is fine. Bad gas is not great. And balls of steel is crazy useful. Okay. I'm starting to think that this run might just be crazy enough to work. The world card is obviously something that we will use later in the game, either on the cathedral or on the chest. Uh, wherever it seems most likely to be useful. And it's amazing how much this run changed so quickly. Before, lots of health, very little damage, kind of boring. Now, uh, lots of damage, fairly little health, pretty exciting. I'm, I'm excited at least to see how this works out, sexually speaking, mostly. But that's my own kink and I'd appreciate it if you didn't, uh, you know, pass judgment on me just as a result of your puritanical ideals. We're gonna hold on to this key because obviously it's most valuable to us as a, an item on the chest, if it's possible to make that happen. And what's bullshit is that I know there's gonna be some people that are like using this video to fall asleep and they're gonna wake up and be like, oh, ho hum, just another brimstone win. It's not just another brimstone win. This has been, it required a, a sack, basically. No offense, ladies. I mean, the, like a metaphorical sack, like the, the thing that Santa keeps all his presents in. And don't tell me Santa's not real, Chad. I'll be angry. Mostly because I don't want you to ruin the Christmas miracle for other people out there in, in Toyland. So, this is not going to be the easiest mom's heart fight, and the reason for that is because we don't have quite enough bombs. Uh, but our flies are obviously going to do damage, which is quite nice. And, uh, you know, we're going to be able to kill things pretty easily, which is quite nice. And we have brimstone, which is piercing shots, which is quite nice. These flies uh, almost actually lived through that. Uh, now, we should have bombs pretty quickly. Again, my metric, kind of antiquated at this point, for determining whether or not I'm having a good mom's heart boss fight, uh, is if we manage to get her permanently firing bombs before Chubb shows up. In this case, it didn't work out like that, but this is still a very good mom's heart boss fight. It just required a little bit more patience than your average mom's heart boss fight. Every time I say mom's heart boss fight, take a drink, mom's heart boss fight, oh, surprise, you're dead. We actually snagged an HP upgrade there, which is pretty nice. I say we use our world card now, because uh, it's not really that tempting to go to the, um, sorry, to go to the um, curse room anymore. I will use a bomb to check out the secret room just in case. What do we have in here? Um, all right. I don't. I'm just gonna reroll it. You know what? Um, I don't know if I necessarily feel comfortable picking that up. What has got? What what has happened? Okay, that's the first time I've ever made that happen. That is real strange. Well, we'll continue moving onwards. I, is that how you break the game? You get like a bunch of undefines? Full disclosure, I don't think I've ever seen an entire breaking run. Anyway, we're gonna go, that was super weird. We're gonna go through to our uh, boss fight with Isaac here. And, ooh, I think we're gonna be totally fine here. The only thing that I would really change realistically about this is it would be super nice to have a full suite of orbitals. You can't always get what you want, though. Ooh, my favorite um, Stone Temple Pilot song. Can't always get what you want. If you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. Uh, and in Scott Weiland's case, what you need was usually uh, like a dime bag of black tar heroin. Now, uh, I'm taking damage here. This is the... We knew that this was going to happen. I, I don't have too much defensive power to avoid taking damage. Uh, on the Isaac fight. And this is where it's gonna be really difficult because I have to save enough health to hopefully make it possible for me to survive against Blue Baby, right? Uh, and that's probably gonna require some convenient items on the chest, which we can't really rely on. We just kinda gotta hope against hope that it'll work out that way. So this is still a run where, where luck is gonna be a major factor. That Getting that Spirit Heart actually helps more than, uh, more than you might think. But I'm having fun with this run regardless. And if we end up dying, at least we died on our own terms. Uh, we can reroll, but I kind of want to get some bombs to go to the secret room. Just in, it, like, it's going to be crazy, right? We'll, we'll take Mr. Mega. It's better than the homing bombs, I think. And uh, we'll see what's going on in our secret room. Is it another undefined? It is not. Uh, it's greed. Who should die very easily and maybe drop uh, the steam sail or reroll pedestal? Nope. Um, well, I guess we should reroll the homing bombs just in case. <laughs> 
I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. Like, we got three bomb items right off the bat on the on the chest. That's not fucking likely, is it? This is a weird run right now. It's some X Files shit going on. Now that spirit heart drop. Thank you very much to the miter for that. Even if we don't get any more keys, we will have some reroll uh, potential, obviously. As a re oh, that was scary. As a result of the. Uh, well, the fact that we have the D6 and the fact that we have the Nun's Habit, both of which work very well in conjunction with one another. Lost a Spirit Heart. Let's try not to make it two. Thank you, Flies. Oh, we actually gained another Spirit Heart at the end of this, too. I'm starting to think that this shit might be possible, and that's real silly, given what I gave up just to become Guppy. Are Flies doing quite a number on the enemy, though? Obviously, I would love at this point to come across like a Polyphemus or something like that. Because uh, every damage upgrade that we get makes our Flies that much better. And also, you know, our own shots that much better, but still. Uh, oh, I probably should have gone and re-rolled um, immediately instead of just uh, finishing this off. That was bad damage, but ooh, okay, managed to take out most of the spiders, if not all of the spiders. And since I took damage on this room, I would absolutely love to pick up another spirit heart after we kill all the spiders, which amazingly did not die there. No, but we'll go back and re-roll regardless. More keys would always have been nice on this run. And again, <laughs> second run in a row with nine lives. Uh, ghost baby, definitely not worth it. So, if I end up, uh, you know, dying on the boss fight once, I actually have the Onk as well. That might actually make it, make me substantially more survivable, because with the Onk, uh, obviously I'll have permanent Polaroid invincibility, time, inv invincibility times like four, three, I guess. Uh, and that might l make me live long enough to actually, uh, you know, finish the job, I guess. Now, we can theoretically turn a, a one Spirit Heart Prophet here. Maybe even two because of the Miter. This room always pays out with one, but then the Miter would have a chance to give us uh, another one, maybe. Mm, okay, Peeper's Eye. We can't reroll everything, but I might as well leave this as a pedestal for now, just in case uh, the chance to reroll it comes up in the future, and maybe my rerolls in the, in the opening chest room become, like, not necessary. Anyway. Uh... Pills are always good for us. That's the bomb bag, which is also pretty bad. You know, we might as well just reroll this one. Saves us some backtracking. We have the same amount of reroll pedestals in every room. We have a tears upgrade. I'll just pop that right away. Thank you very much to PhD. Even though PhD is kind of an unglamorous item, it has done a staggering amount of good for us on this run, especially by allowing us to get so much money on the IV bag that uh, money equals power ended up being crazy useful. So now uh, we come back, and since we have a key, we go open up one of these other chest items just to see if uh, it's got what I need, even though you say I'm just a friend. You say I'm just a friend. You could be my special friend with benefits if you didn't give me the quarter, which is actually kind of not great in this situation. Uh, I really don't think that the boss room is down there where I just was, so why don't we explore a little bit up here. Probably in my best interest, and I have already fucked this up a little bit, and I can't really control the flies, but probably in my best interest, that was really bad, uh, to kill Sloth last, if I can make it happen. And actually now, it may be a more likely possibility. I'm, I'm trying to kill Envy first. Not as easy as you might think. Again, I can't control the flies, so I'm just... Eh, surprisingly, ended up working out quite well for us. We ended up getting a two of diamonds, which could not be less useful at this point. And a double reroll here. Chocolate milk and mom's contacts is so good! Chocolate milk, I think, is it breaks brimstone, basically, as far as I know, anyway. Um, but mom's contact, now we have slowing and freezing, which is just, like... It's too good, honestly. I feel like I'm a little bit overpowered at this point. If I didn't have so little health, I would be like, this is a one run. As it is right now, anything could still happen, but uh, this is certainly pretty powerful. And we'll see what we have in our second secret room here. Mom's Contact is also one of the rarest items that I would say I get in the game. We've reached another dead end, unfortunately, but uh, what an exciting run towards the end. I didn't expect it to turn out as uh, as harrowing as it, as it has, but also as exciting as it has, so... I'm, I'm pleased with that. Super Sloth may give us a tarot card. We've already picked up and rerolled Bob's Rod and Head, uh, which I think is the other payout that it sometimes gives, so... Uh, I, I can't really afford to lose any more HP. Lifesteal doesn't do too much for you when you're rolling basically entirely on Spirit Hearts. Sorry to get all philosophical on you guys. Uh, Devil card. Very useful. Very useful for our boss room, potentially. I would still love to get, like, another... Ooh, it's close. I would still love to get, like, another spirit heart or two. And, uh, you know, I would love to be able to find the boss room. Hey, let's mark it on the calendar. This is no November 26th when I'm recording this run. Uh, first day in, like, 100 years 
That was real bad. Where Northern Line has not complained about not having the compass. All right, we got a bomb, but no spirit hearts. Don't throw now. I feel like this should be pretty plausible. Oh, we have another reroll available, so I should just... It doesn't really matter which room I use it on at this point, I guess. Uh, the poop. Okay, so that's just, uh... That's just rude, quite frankly. Why don't we walk around, because I have a pretty good feeling that we may have an opportunity to get uh, some spirit hearts from these rooms. Should I pick up Peeper's Eye? Well, when I come across the boss room, I might as well pick up all these kind of miscellaneous items that I've previously uh, pooped on. Might as well kill Lust, I guess. Oh, almost walked right into Gluttony's path there. Who do we kill last? Uh, killing Gluttony last may snag us some spirit hearts. Killing Sloth last, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We actually got an HP upgrade for that, which is also super useful. Maybe not as useful as Spirit Hearts because of the permanent Polaroid invincibility possibilities, which is a surprisingly difficult sentence to say. Man, the slow plus the uh, the freeze is going to make Blue Baby a lot easier than he otherwise would be, but still. I, I do not have a lot of health. What's weird is that, you know, this is one of those strange situations where it's actually fairly realistic that I could... Um, you know, die against Blue Baby with the one up, or sorry, the nine lives and the onk, I guess, and still uh, have a fairly realistic chance of winning on one of those runs in the future. So we'll see if that ends up happening. But as is right now, we are probably, you know, just a couple of minutes from the end here. And soon we should be able to make something good happen here. This Gurdy fight that was so difficult in the early game, still proving uh, a little bit tricky here. But we should be okay. What do we got here? Hello, Kate. I couldn't see who it was, and Ruka wasn't running towards the door, so I thought maybe we were being just robbed. And, but I didn't even look, so... You know, this is more important, I guess, right now than all of our possessions being stolen. What I'm saying is I'm a good provider, and also I keep the house safe when you're gone. Well, we have an interesting choice here. Because... I only have three hearts. That's not great. He should be dead. Please give me something... Maybe a key in there would, would sway my decision. Uh, Spoonbender doesn't... Oh, I didn't mean to pick it up. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all because I wouldn't use my reroll there anyway. Um, we should reroll something and pick up everything else, basically. We should pick up Rainbow Baby. We can also get another slow out of the Gish effect here. We should pick up Peeper's Eye, which is unlikely to make a huge difference, but it could. Uh, the Nickel is the one thing we won't pick up. And we will also pop open the uh, poop here and reroll that into a range upgrade, which I won't even pick up. All right, this is the moment of truth. Uh, we have the devil card, ability to freeze, two times ability to slow, peeper's eye, lots of damage, crazy good flies, but we can only get hit twice. That's a genuine concern, obviously. Um, let's see, this is all I got right now. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's start doing some damage, because that's how I create flies. Either that or being hit, but I would rather avoid that, if at all possible. Seriously, uh, at some point, the ability to slow or freeze Blue Baby indefinitely would be a nice bonus. So far, we, we've had occasional freezes, I guess. I wonder if the Devil card makes the flies better. So far, so good on this fight, actually. Don't slip up and lose it. Oh, okay, this is the moment of truth, I guess, then. If we get hit one more time, we're going down. But then we should come back with four Spirit Hearts, which is actually going to be an easier way to handle this fight. Three Spirit Hearts, okay. Well, at least we'll get a stronger period of invincibility. We don't have the Devil card this time, though. Uh, but a longer period of invincibility allows me to poison Blue Baby. And I think that will give me a better chance overall. And we've got him, like... If I can just get him in this phase where I can permanently uh, keep him at least slowed, but frozen, obviously, even better, uh, that's real nice. It's not reliable, but it's pretty good. Okay, so he's down to half damage, and I haven't taken any. So we're definitely in the range where, like, a, if I get hit, I can run in, poison, drop a bomb on him, orbital hits him. I think, we, I think we've won this. It was a weird run. It was one where we had to be uh, extraordinarily aggressive to get what we wanted, but... Uh, it's just a, a good metaphor for life, isn't it? Okay, so now we just walk in, drop a, a mega bomb on him, and we're good to go. Might as well pick up that other spirit heart just so that shit doesn't happen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that run as much as I did. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button. It helps me out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. And thank you all for your civil and positive comments. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time.